There is a clear trend on the web where people buy a cheap streamer to combine it with a higher class DAC. That sounds like a good idea, but is it a sound investment? The idea is simple. You use a cheap streamer to acquire the audio data and send it out over SPDIF, TOSLINK or USB Audio Class 2 to a good DAC to have it converted to analog. The underlying reasoning is that bits are bits, thus it doesn't matter that it's a cheap streamer. And that's where the reasoning goes wrong. But I hear enthusiastic stories over sound improvements, so what's going on? Let me first say that I use the name streamer here for both a network player with or without DAC integrated and a network bridge. Then now what I've found. It is mainly electric pollution on the digital connection that causes differences in sound quality. Although other design issues play a role too. Those show up in the overall quality of the product and far less in the combination of products. Not many people realize it, but the digital signal on SPDIF and USB are actually analog square waves that are used to encode bit values. On TOSLINK it's analog waveforms too, but in the light spectrum. The simplest form is when a positive square wave indicates a 1 and a negative square wave a 0. In the AES3 standard, SPDIF, AES-EVU and TOSLINK a slightly more complex encoding is used as I have described in my video Connecting your DAC number 2, how digital can go wrong. That way the clock signal and the data can be transported in one single data stream. For a long time I heard that it was the reason I clearly heard jitter artifacts in digital audio. I was wrong and it took me until 3 years ago I more or less understood what was going on. It was John Swenson's publication understanding how perturbations on digital signals can affect the sound quality without changing bits and how these issues are addressed by the uptone ether regen. The explanation made sense, although being a tough read. But we journalists always want more than one source and that wasn't easy. Not too many electronic designers and engineers knew this or understandably didn't want to answer questions afraid to give away their secrets. It took me quite some time to both have a fair understanding of what's going on and to find sufficient confirmation. In January 2023 I published Why Digital Circuits Influence the Sound Quality, which mainly is a non-authorized, more accessible version of Swenson's paper. If you have watched the videos I mentioned, you will understand that using a cheap streamer with an even cheaper wallward power supply causes a lot of electronic noise over the ground of the cable into the external DAC. And that will cause jitter during the digital to analog conversion. All DACs I have reviewed up till now have performed clearly less when a poor performing digital source was connected to it. And the difference is stunning. To further investigate this I set up an extreme test. I have connected the 100 Euro WIM Mini next to the Grim Audio Mu1 with the upsampling switched off to the Core Dave DAC. An unfair test of course, but I did it to once more establish that there was a clear difference in sound quality between a cheap and an expensive streamer. And on my reference setup 1A the difference is extremely clear. On my setup 3 differences are clearly more subtle. I even wonder if an average consumer will hear the difference the first time. Only when he or she has the chance to listen to both systems for a longer period, and I mean weeks, the difference will be noted. Well in this test the Wii Mini uses a cheap switch mode power supply that has a high leakage from the AC to the DC side. Please do understand that this is not meant as bashing the product. It is incredible Wim can make the Mini for that money and make it function reliable and easy. A Kia Picanto city car 
drives remarkably well for the money, even on the highway, but it's no Volkswagen Golf GTI. And mounting a Golf GTI engine in the Picanto doesn't make the Picanto equal to the Golf GTI. You can, to a certain degree, make the Picanto perform better by some tuning, but spending too much money on it is a poor investment. The same goes for the GTI. It will never become a BMW M. You can tune the engine, improve the suspension, but very soon it will become a boy racer car. A car that has many accessories that makes a lot of noise and looks impressive when the bonnet is opened. But still, it won't drive better than the BMW M. Getting back to audio. Yes, you can buy an audiophile grade power supply spending, say, 350 euros on an S-Booster power supply, only to find that the WIM didn't have the budget to use the best clock oscillators, very good interface chips for the digital I.O. and a sturdy construction to protect the clock crystal from vibrations and temperature changes. It might be clear that Grim Audio's design goal and budget did allow for extremely good solutions on all these fields. Spend some more money and the manufacturer can afford more money on components and build quality. Every step up in price will allow a manufacturer to do more. And of course, better, more clever designers and manufacturers manage to deliver more quality than other products with the same money deliver. But in general, that will be within 10 or 20 percent price range. So it might be clear that using the Wii Mini in a high-end system like my System 1 is degrading the system in such a way that the investment in the other equipment was unwise. In the same way, buying a 12,000 euro Grim Mu 1 for a sub 1,000 euro stereo is just as unwise. As with all things, the chain is as weak as the weakest link. Therefore, I almost always give an indication in what reference setup I would place a given component at the end of the sound quality chapter in my reviews. In those cases I did forget, it might have been mentioned in the reactions below the video on YouTube. Choosing a streamer that I judge to be of setup 3 quality and combining it with a DAC that I judge to be of setup 2 A quality will absolutely play music but it won't be at the sound quality that DAC can deliver. The same goes for a Setup 3 class streamer with integrated DAC combined with a Setup 2A class DAC. And yes, it might sound better with the external DAC, but not as good as a more balanced system with for instance a streamer without DAC with its external DAC in a Setup 2 class. It might even cost the same, but will certainly produce a better sound quality. There are reasons to buy a higher class DAC to combine with your lower class streamer. For instance, if you are no longer satisfied with the sound quality of your streamer with integrated DAC. A higher class DAC will in most cases improve the sound quality, being it not to the full quality the DAC is capable of. But since you already have spent the money on the streamer. But I do have a problem with people that advise others the combination of a lower class streamer with a higher class DAC as the best combination for it seldom is. I do understand where it comes from, but that doesn't make it sound advice. And if you don't want to watch a lot of reviews, a good rule of thumb is that a streamer will, in general, be about the same price as a DAC when they are in the same sound quality class. Which brings me to the end of this video. See you next Friday at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. Nowadays my videos can be watched one week earlier and commercial free at Patreon for only a small fee of one dollar or equal in other currency per calendar month. See the link in the description. Help me reach even more people by giving this video a thumb up or link to this video in the social media. It is much appreciated. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and lets me improve the channel further. If that makes you feel like supporting my work too, 
De links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen. Thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music.